Cam, Brian for Cam's Mortgage Minute. Hey, what do you think about the idea to levy a tax on people who buy in Vancouver homes and then leave them vacant? Well, it's recently what was suggested by a candidate running for mayor in Vancouver, Mina Wong. Now, before you rush out there and accuse her of being a racist, you have to realize Mina is ethnic Chinese and has immigrated to Vancouver about 34 years ago. Her thoughts would be that this tax that would be generated could be used to create more affordable housing. And uh, she's got a number of things she's pointing to and they're mentioning, and they're saying that as much as 25% of the condos around Coal Harbor are believed to be unoccupied. Now, nobody knows this for sure, but that seems to be the general thoughts on this. Now, her critics do point out a few things, and uh, the, I guess namely the questions are, is this a public social policy instrument to curb the purchase of properties for recreational use, or is it a long-term or for long-term holding property? Would the tax be imposed, uh, you know, depending on how long the property is left vacant? Uh, is it certain numbers for certain time periods? Whatever that may be. There are other uh, areas and jurisdictions have grappled with this issue before. In England, for example, where 70% of the housing in central London is believed to be uh, being snapped up by foreign buyers, in 2012, Britain's government has allowed the city and boroughs to charge up to 150% of the council tax rate on homes left vacant for more than two years. Scottish Parliament has also given similar powers to their municipalities. In Hong Kong, for example, since 2012, it's imposed a 15% surcharge on foreign buyers. And ironically, most of these foreign buyers are coming from China. Likewise, since 2010, Australia has also allowed foreign buyers to only buy one new property. So it would appear that other jurisdictions are tackling this sort of issue. What should we do in the Lower Mainland? Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, no doubt that affordable housing or the price of housing is a concern. How much will this interfere with the free flow of the market? What other ramifications could it have? Well, those are things for everybody to ponder and obviously some of these issues may come up in the next election. We're not here to solve any of those major questions for you at Auxilium, but we are here to help you with mortgage needs. If you are looking to purchase a property, whether it be a recreational investment, first home, second home, whatever it may be, give us a shout. We're always ready, willing, and able to help. Uh, the Auxilium team is always here for you, and Auxilium simply means to care, aid, assist, and support, and that's what we do here day in and day out.